Hello everybody, welcome back to the FTCR LP of Super Mickey 64. <laughs> I, know, I know in, in context of the footage, Chris was just standing still. <laughs> Um, so so did so did the narrator could do his little speech, but I can imagine Mickey's like that's a good statue. I like that <laughs> statue. Just stares at it for like three seconds. That's the thing I just beat up. Awesome. How'd that get here? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> uh, you know, what, so, guys, uh, let's just and oh, actually, let me get these gems. Then we're just going to beat the game. We're not bothering with the other worlds. <laughs> Are we? Are we? Is it? Is there a, uh, a glitch in this, like in Mario 64, where you can just like backflip the fuck all the way up to Bowser's uh, level? Oh, I'm sure someone's probably done it. Someone insane. You're going the wrong way. You can't no, go that way the, yet till you this, build the rainbow the bridge, final... and you can't do that till you get all the rainbow gems. The final boss is over there. We gotta go. <laughs> Hot dog. Hot dog. There's still work to be done. Hooray. <laughs> Yeah, what, why is Mickey Mouse's catchphrase hot dog for? He's a hungry man. Because hamburger just doesn't But he has a sense. dog, and his best friend's a dog. <laughs> well, uh, you see, I don't want to know. The Disney Universe is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't like it. Honestly, it scares me. My favorite thing ever, like, my favorite bit of, of, of like, meta jokes was um, in the House of Mouse cartoon, oh, which God. was pretty pretty decent. Yeah. There was an episode where Hades from Hercules shows up voiced by G uh, James Woods. Um, <laughs> and there's a moment where like Goofy's his server, and after like, they have like their like, um, actual like plot relevant dialogue, and then Hades just goes to, then Hades just goes to Goofy, so are you a dog? Are you a man? Like, what are you? And then it just, it just cuts away after that. <laughs> I always thought that was, that was hilarious. <laughs> Another of the witch's illusions. What's what is the witch's end game here? This this is is just uh, Banjo Kazooie. She wants to steal Minnie's uh, beauty to become hot. Oh Jesus, you're right. I'm going to. It's like I'm going to steal this girl's beauty, and the only way that you can get her back is through an hour and a half of jumping around this st stupid <laughs> piece of corroded piece of crap world that I've created. It's like, I don't understand it. What, what doesn't make any sense, though, is that, let's be fair, Minnie Mouse is just Mickey Mouse with a bowl. She could just steal Mickey and get the exact same <laughs> yeah, effect she in the could. end. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember, I remember enjoying it. I thought this section was pretty decent. I like this. Me I, too, I love, until the time, I... I love the time... I love the time the 3D in this game doesn't work that well, but I thought this one was actually... It works decently and, and it's pretty fun. It's just that thing from Sonic 4 Episode 1, though. All the card pathways. I enjoyed it <laughs> until I started dying a lot in it, as we'll see soon. Oh, good job. Oh, that's right. That's how cards work. I forgot. <laughs> well, back in for more. We should we, we should just, just be playing the uh, Knuckles Chaotix special stage <laughs> <Yeah>. music here. <laughs> So one thing I like about this game is when you fail, like I just did, and always do, the narrator has a special little line. He's like, oh, Mickey didn't get it that time, but I'm sure he'll get it next time. It's like, thanks, guy from Uncharted. I appreciate that. Because <laughs> that's the old guy from Uncharted. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Chris, you go. made the Chris same the same. fucking go. mistake. <laughs> yeah, I just really wanted it. It's so shiny. I don't know what that laugh in the game is supposed to be, by the way. Is it the boss? I guess the witch. Oh. oh it doesn't cares. sound like the witch. Yeah, though, yeah. We're all gonna, Chris, we're all gonna die. Nothing matters. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I died twice in that level. You know who's laughing there? Life itself. <laughs> God. <laughs> life on... Life on... <laughs> Oh, time on Earth is precious, and you fucking nerds are wasting it playing this game and talking <laughs> over it. You fucking losers. I wouldn't want it any other way. Happy Father's Day, guys. <laughs> Happy Father's Day! <laughs> oh, shit. I need to call my dad. I forgot. Call him right now and put him on speakerphone. Make this you LP joke. Sing. You joke. Oh, my phone's in the other you room. Can't, you can't... 
Chris, you can't say this movies. He he's, he's dumb enough to do that shit. Go get your phone, or Stephen. We'll wait. Smart enough. Mickey will Mickey will be here when you get back. No. I got it. That's that stock clown sound effect is annoying as shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was fucking. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they used that sound effect for Mario's horn in Mario Kart Super Circuit on the GBA. They gave him some kind of really obnoxious clown car noise. Of course. At least this is a pretty level. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, again, uh, visually, visually the game. You know, again for a relatively cheap downloadable game, it looks pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Mhm. Mm now, Chris, I, I believe you said. I'm sorry, after you. I was just gonna say, I think my favorite looking level is there's um in the next world there's like a storm with like these really sunset orange backgrounds. That and the food mm, level. Yeah. I think, I think those are my favorite ones. But go ahead, sorry. I'll say so. You said you got this on uh, PlayStation Plus for free. Yeah, air quote free, but yeah. Right. Good. Yeah. Um. Because uh, one thing I was gonna say because uh, I believe it was it was exclusive to the PlayStation version if you pre-ordered it. Um, I want to say all bought it within like two weeks of it coming out. They gave you the original uh, game as well for free. Yeah, and I think Which... they extended that promotion or something to where if you had the game, you could download it to a certain date. So I do have the original version on PS3. I just haven't played it yet. Yeah, yeah, I was. I think I was suffering like a week off getting that, and I was I was mad at myself. Wait a minute, what was the parameters if you bought it like when it came out? If something if, like if that. you pre-ordered it, oh. if you pre-ordered it, or if you bought it within like. Uh, like let, let's just say two months after it came out, you could download the original game and like PlayStation themes and shit like that. I didn't know that. The like avatar pictures. The really yeah. nice thing about the um, that version on PS3 is that it uses the M2 um, emulation, so there's like all kinds of nice options you can use and stuff like that. M2 oh, being the you know... really good studio for ports. Yeah, of course. Are, are they exclusive to Sega? Uh, no, they worked on Nintendo's Game Boy Advance thing, but they mostly work with Sega. Because I think recently they're most well known for their Sega, the classic collection, which just came out on uh, 3DS. Yeah, yeah. Which is... Nothing's exclusive for the right price. <laughs> Including your sexuality. Just like, just like real life. What's your price, Steven? <laughs> huh? What's your price? I, I, you, can, I you can afford it, Chris. Yeah, you can't afford it. <laughs> 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 I will say one one nice thing I enjoy is the is the narrator. It just gives the whole game kind of of, of like, like a fairy tale storybook vibe, mm -hmm. which I th I, th I think that just adds to the overall charm of this of this game. Yeah, and like I joked about earlier, if you played Uncharted, it's a very familiar voice. So it's fun to imagine this old crooked, nasty man who is always talking about fucking woman narrating over this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sully. God, what a dick. Sully from Monsters Inc. <laughs> John Goodman dot JPEG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe it's um it's uh Richard McGonagall. Professor yeah. McGonagall is the is the narrator. You just got an announced for some Batman game, I think. I just don't remember what character. That Telltale series? Oh, nice. Oh, it, oh yeah, yeah, the Telltale one. Yeah, cool. Is McGonagall like a real last yeah, name? You... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was something J.K. Rowling made up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, the other voice cast is pretty similar, of course. We have Ruthie Taylor back as Minnie Mouse. She's been Minnie Mouse for decades. Other stuff you might know her from is fucking uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie and Webber Girl from DuckTales. Or um, uh, Martin Prince on The Simpsons. Um, Brett Iwan is Mickey Mouse. He's been Mickey Mouse since about 2012 when the original um, actor uh, for Mickey Mouse died, who was actually married to Rusty Taylor in real life. So, you know, Mickey and Minnie were married for many, many a year. Oh, wow. I forgot the uh, last voice passed that far away. I was thinking this was like one of his last roles. So this is one of the first roles for the new guy. Yeah, you know what, you know what the first thing the new guy did was Epic Mickey. Oh. I'm so sorry What's for that? him. 
Well, you know, you, you know what's weird, Chris? You were talking about um, Uncharted and, and this game. Um, Nolan North was on was on uh, Rob Paulson's podcast, Talking Tunes, and he was. Oh Nolan yeah. Nolan North yeah. apparently apparently auditioned for to be the new Mickey Mouse, and apparently got very far into the um, into the auditions. Yeah. For it, but they, they they apparently Disney like to keep things in the family. So apparently he's just the current voice actor is just a, a animator at Disney who can oh, just do the voice really well. That's neat. I was gonna say would it, that... would it have been nice if it was Nolan North just so you, we could say that fucking Deadpool and Mickey Mouse had the same voice actor? I was gonna say that meme about Nolan North being in everything would have been really outrageous if he was Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, fuck that plane. Oh, yeah, this is tough, like, guys. I don't know what to do. Fuck this plane of existence. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking you had to <laughs> jump up there. Mickey's had, a, Mickey's had enough of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's like, no, good so job, Chris. my girlfriend's not worth it. Oh, I'm having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, Mickey, get, get me down, down from, from here. here. <laughs> I'm afraid of standing on short platforms. <laughs> Yeah, fuck those guys. I will say the the, the first the first time playing this, uh, this section probably gave me the most trouble. Oh yeah. Just because I was a I was a dope and I kept on jumping it into the wrong gravity thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. So smoothies is, is is this section in the original? Mm, no, it's not. A lot of these bonus sections are new. So so okay, so this section was just stolen from Death Egg. Good job, good job, Sega Australia. <laughs> There's another Sonic analog for us. Well, can Sega really steal its own content? Yes. You say you say that, but, but again, the uh, the unreleased Sonic Extreme, when uh, Yuji Naka found out they were stealing the Knights engine for the boss battles, which again, both owned by Sega. Apparently, he was not too happy and complained. What? Did... And so that's why they had to, they they had to remove all that shit. Well, shut the fuck up, Yuji Naka. Go drive your Ferrari around. Fuck you. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> At Ferrari Naka, follow on Twitter. <laughs> I forget, was that is that you or Sky? Um, I can neither confirm nor deny. That's you, okay. <laughs> Skyler is a very prominent member of the Sonic community. <laughs> he he gave up bad Sonic fan art. We we both did. The new owner. Yeah. Who's the new owner? I have no idea, and I like it that way. Well, Chris, I thought I, I thought you just did the Tumblr. Well, we share duties. Yeah, you said duties. <laughs> <laughs> this is how far we've sunk every <laughs> yeah, It only took us two parts to bring up bad song fan art, so I'm happy. <laughs> we, we say this every time, but it's a new low for us. Congratulations. <laughs> we were talking, before we started recording, we were like, all of our fans are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we put it quite that way, but... Uh, it was yeah. basically okay. Not not that they're idiots, but that they have really bad taste. There we go. That's what we were saying. No, see this one. This oh. section again. Sometimes, like I, I, I'm not sure if there's an actual pattern for the the floors disappearing. But I would just walk, and they would just fall away on me. The like, mirror. I don't, I don't get it. The mirror shows the solid blocks. Yeah, you're a fucking. <laughs> you know, idiot. I didn't even know oh that. Oh my god. I don't you know what I was doing after I died like four times? I was just jumping around until I succeeded. I did the same thing. It wasn't until the second playthrough where I was like, oh, fuck, okay. Gareth, Chris, There's learn, to, learn how here. to video game. No, I'm bad. Do you even play games, Steven? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not a gamer. Steven, Steven likes games like Grim Fandango, which is watching cutscenes <laughs> Yeah, basically. Why do you think I made Sonic movies so many years ago? I was like, fuck the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, just what everyone wants, just the cut, just the badly animated SA1 cutscenes. Hooray. God. Don't forget, th three parts of Sonic Unleashed, too, so. And what is See, part you, four you coming out? Three? Yeah, I got to three parts. <laughs> Yeah, but Steven, nothing of it will top Sonic Unleashed the movie part one upside down edition. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to talk about this boss real quick. Did this give you guys any trouble when you first played it? No. Uh, oh. Not really. Only it did for me, but again, we'll we'll 
I'll talk about my issues in, in the final part. Okay, so Probably. what what I wasn't grasping was when, in a bit when he sends out that boxing glove. I didn't know you just had to duck to dodge it. I was. Oh yes. I thought yes, you had yes, to yes. jump on it to get to him, so I kept fucking myself over. You know what? You know what? The first time, because what what the game does is that it, uh, at least with me, it automatically ducks you down. But oh. I I have thought kind of I thought like Chris, you had to you have to jump over it. Yeah. So the first the first few times I tried jumping over it. But then I got lazy and I just, oh, fuck it, I'll just crouch. And then he just crouches, and then there you go. In, in terms of the original game, all he does is just try, he just tries to punch you, which you duck down, and then he throws out the uh, springs. Hmm. Sonic. I got you. Exactly. Just fuck this game, man. <laughs> Again, smoothies, you know. I, j I just looked it up online, and apparently Yuji Naka is the reason why Sega Studios Australia shut down. Shut up. No. Naka was just like, they're, ste they're stealing all my Sonic <laughs> ideas. I think one of them scratched my Ferrari. They gotta go. <laughs> this happened seven years after I left Sega, but they gotta go. What bothered me the most about this boss is that his shadow is circular, but his body is a square. Oh, fuck. Well, everyone's shadow is circular. You know what would have been great if these arms made the Nazi symbol? <laughs> um, um, That's what I want. Yeah. That's what I that want. Been great. A Nazi, a Nazi Jack in the Box in a Disney game. As we all know, Walt Disney, Walt, Walt Disney was in favor of the Nazis. A famous Nazi, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is, I'm not making a joke. That, that is a documented fact. Oh, I thought you were joking. I was going with it. No, like he, oh. he, he made pro-Nazi cartoons. Oh. Um, I don't want to play this game anymore. Can we stop? <laughs> But, you know, Steven, now that you've said it, yeah, like, they couldn't have just made a special square <laughs> shadow for this fuck. It's just a square. It's one of the easiest shapes there is. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yay. <laughs> you got the orange Chaos Emerald. Uh, <laughs> there was Damn. only ever once an orange Chaos Emerald, and that was in Sonic R, so... Uh, Mickey R. Make, make it, Disney. Oh. <laughs> and that's how we end it. <laughs> <laughs>